Buenos dias, oh, RGT85 here. You know what? That's actually from a video game, not the all part, but the buenos dias part. And nobody picks up on it. And it's a game that I love. It's a game that I've talked about. I've reviewed it on the channel before. Nobody cares about it, though. If you can figure out what game that is, let me know in the comment section down below. But we're here to talk about some fresh video game news, some fresh cuts. We got a couple stories I want to talk about. First time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification as well, or go to hell. And as always, let's jump into what's happening in the world of video games. And we're going to start things off with something that a lot of us have been waiting for if you're starting to get grays in your beard and you're sore when you wake up in the morning you have been waiting for the golden eye 007 remaster remake who the hell really knows what it is to be coming to the xbox and the nintendo switch it seemed like this was going to be something that was probably going to be talked about over the summer i mean it seems like a good game for a nintendo director it seems like a good game for microsoft's presentation people were putting their reputations on the line saying that goldeneye was definitely going to be there and then it wasn't there now of course there is lots of proof that it does indeed exist there's lots of xbox and rare employees that have been playing this game getting the achievements in this game the list of achievements has gone up on websites the game definitely does exist it's just a matter of when is the game coming out and really what does the game entail there was the original leaked remaster from the xbox 360 era that was supposed to be an xbox live game that i'm using footage of from right now uh this was supposed to be something that came out back in the day obviously nintendo and microsoft didn't really see eye to eye on the release of the game i don't think it's a question of you know if the game exists i think it's a question of when the game is going to be released which still a question that we have where is GoldenEye? So what's going on with the game? Jeff Grubb did give a little bit of an update on the game, so I want to talk about it. So yesterday, a person asked about GoldenEye, tagging Jeff Grubb and Jez Gordon and Randall Thor in there. They said, hey, what's going on with the game, man? I want to play the game. And Jeff Grubb said that GoldenEye is still in limbo because of the war. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, GoldenEye, if you've never seen it, or played the game a lot of it takes place in russia i don't know if you've been paying attention to the news or watching the news but there's there's some problems right now in russia you know do, doing some things the government's getting a lot of heat and doing things with the ukraine obviously i'm not a political channel or socio commentary channel so you know that is what it is you can get information on that where you see fit but i think my thing of it is is like okay like i understand it you know i understand why advanced wars was delayed i understand why golden eye is kind of a bit in limbo allegedly because of the conflict going on overseas but you know with advanced wars it made a little bit more sense to me it's a game about like going in and taking over things and you know like simulating a war golden eye isn't really like about that like yes a lot of it does take place in russia there's a lot of russian characters in the game but i don't think it necessarily like paints a negative portrait or you know gives the feeling of like oh uh you know a conflict going on or something like that usually i can look at two sides of the coin and understand why people want it now and understand why you know companies might want to wait i'm obviously not you know one of those social warriors social activists or something like that i'm just a regular dude but i like to look at things from both sides of the coin to sort of understand all of differentiating viewpoints but with this it's kind of like i i don't quite understand it like it's a story that does take place in russia but you know there's there's nothing that really would you would assimilate with it beyond the fact that the story takes place in russia you know it's not like there's anything that sort of mimics what is happening right now in real world situations so you know how long are you gonna wait how long are you gonna wait to do advance wars how long are you gonna wait with this you know conflict always happens there's conflict all the time whether you read about it in the newspaper because you're a really old man or you see it on online or watching your news channels and stuff like that there's conflict in the world all the time and it's like if you revolve these games around things like that you're never gonna release anything like call of duty still comes out every year so i don't know just 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 drop the golden eye you know just drop it it's okay you know I, i'm speaking for the people here okay i'm speaking for everyone not really but i'm just speaking for myself i feel like it would be okay to drop golden eye what do you think though you know obviously i have a lot of viewers that are russian have russian ties it's the same thing with the ukraine i have a lot of ukrainian viewers i want to hear your guys' thoughts would you be offended if golden eye 007 came out now with this conflict going on or do you just understand that you know it's a video game it's a work of fiction it just happens to take place in russia let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below because 
I want my golden eye, damn it. But I like to hear other viewpoints as well. And finally, let's talk a little bit about Nintendo and their online services. Not the Nintendo Switch this time. Yeah, I know, shocking, shocking. But there are other Nintendo online entities that have been having some problems lately. There's been some issues. And looking at it, the main culprit was the Wii and the Nintendo DS shop. I don't care about that. Who wants to play these old games? It's a bigger picture because this is actually something that's impacting a newer game that was just on sale on Steam. Why would a Nintendo thing relate to something that was on Steam? Stick around and find out. I'm here to drop the knowledge. Drop the knowledge. But yeah, so basically what happened was the Wii and the DS eShops just kind of disappeared. They went down. Nintendo didn't say that they were pulling them or anything, but they weren't accessible for like months literally months you could not access these now obviously you can't go on there and buy new stuff you know on the wii e shop and on the ds shop but the fact of the matter was if you had already purchased things previously and your account was linked you could re-download these things onto your console which is a good thing you know you want to conserve space you want to download a certain game but you don't have enough space on there that's how you sort of manage things like that because i mean you can't really do any external you know memory sources with those two systems but that was down for a very long time and it didn't look like it was coming back a lot of people were pissed off maybe more people were pissed off about the notion of it more so than the act itself because it didn't really impact them but it's something that digital future crap digital future crap it's something that we talk about all the time it's something that we always look at it and it's like this is problematic but hey you know what nintendo did something good then now all of a sudden all of a sudden a few days ago the shops came back up there was no pomp and circumstance about it either they just went randomly back up somebody discovered it and then they started telling people like, hey yo it's, it's back up so while good that it is back up it's still a problematic thing i don't it, it, it blows my mind it blows my mind that i could pay for something i could buy something with my own money that i've earned and then have it taken away from me where it's not accessible. There, besides the entertainment medium, there's literally nothing like this. If I buy a car, the car is still there. The car is not going away. I bought the car. It's mine. If I buy a remote, the remote will always be here. This will always be here. I can always access this remote. I might have to change the battery in the remote, but it will always be here. This can of Zevia. If I buy this can of Zevia and I drink this can of Zevia, I can still save the can. It's always mine. And the, the problem is, is that companies are getting ballsy now. You know, thankfully, Nintendo brought this back, which is a good thing. But companies are getting ballsy now. Ubisoft is making a precedent on Steam as Assassin's Creed Liberation HD will not be accessible following September 1st, 2022, even if you already bought it. It's a bar. I think he meant brand or bar new low for customers. I would say brand Norse F, but you know, that's just me. You could say whatever you want. You seem like an okay guy. And then he goes on to say that this was actually a part of the uh, Steam summer sale, which was, you know, a couple days ago, people that bought it on july 20 or june 23rd they got it for like five pounds or whatever and then it's it's gone so people are are rightfully pissed off like i just bought this game and now they're taking it away from me it's like why do why do people pirate stuff why 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 does this happen nintendo says the same thing why does this happen why does people pirate stuff because they want to play your games they want to play a specific game now obviously this is not going to be a huge issue for most people it's the fact of the matter. It's the principle. Because if you give people an inch, they'll take a mile. All you were was a big butt and a smile. If you know what the lyrics are from that song, you're a cool guy. Very cool band. But seriously, if you give these companies an inch, they will take a mile. I think we all understand that. And I think we all should should realize that. You can't give you can't give them an inch because they'll be like, oh, well, we got away with this. Let's get away with something else. Let's try to do something else because now we can make more money off this and we can delist it and then you won't even be able to play it. So we can move. Re that the reason they're doing this is because they're moving resources over to other things. And it's like all these companies say that even Nintendo, the whole point of them taking down the Wii and the DS eShops and the forthcoming Wii U and 3DS eShops is like, oh, we're moving resources over to other stuff. Bullshit. What, 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 how much does it cost to keep the servers live? Like it, it's ridiculous it's ridiculous i don't understand it i don't understand why people are they just you know what it is you know what it is let's go back to what i was talking about earlier with these 
online social activists. They cling on to something that's a big scandal. The Activision, Riot Games. Two months later, they move on to something else and nobody gives a shit. How many people said, oh, we're not going to play Activision games anymore because of the way they treated employees. Oh, we're not going to play Riot Games anymore because of all the terrible things they did. A few months later, everyone's sucking their asses again. It's, it, it's ridiculous to me. That's why I don't say shit like that. You know, when it comes out that a company is a bad company, like Ubisoft, I could sit here and say, you know what? I'm never going to buy an Ubisoft game again. Again, that's cap i'm gonna buy uh mario rabbits i've worked with ubisoft before i've done sponsored videos for them they have paid ubisoft has paid me money several times to talk about things of course they're all you know sponsored videos and i always say that for you guys so you can understand that there is some monetary value coming in here but like uh, immortals phoenix rising they did a brand deal with me. They're like, hey, play the game review the game. We'll give you money. I'm like shit. Okay, and it ended up being a really fun game so Oh man, I've gone all over the place with this. I have I have gone all over the place with this, but you know, I, I think people need to realize stuff like this. Like, if people keep receipts, like you see say some dumb shit online, like people are gonna keep receipts. And you know, it is what it is. You give these companies an inch, they'll take a mile. So, you know, speak up. Speak up. Just be like, yo, this ain't cool, man. This ain't cool. But at least Nintendo brought their their Wii and DS stuff back online. But for how long? But for how long before they take away your money? Well, that got a little bit out of control, but hey, that's what this channel is about, all right? This channel is about chaos and calamity, the age of calamity. Let me know what you think of all these stories in the comments section down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit the bell notification as well. Give me your feedback in the comments section down below, like I said, about the GoldenEye situation, about these situations. I like to hear differentiating viewpoints. I like open discussion. Just don't be a dick about it to people and you know, do personal attacks and shit. Like, be a normal human. Why can't people be normal humans? Like, I'm not normal. But I'm able to have a normal conversation with anyone about anything. Even if I think they're batshit crazy, it doesn't matter. It's, it's their opinion. It's like, whatever. Like, I want to hear why you think that. They don't want that on social media, though. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.